Now, I don't know about you, but I hate writing things in by hand. My handwriting is absolutely terrible. I can't even read it, much less someone else. So I loved it when one of the things they put into this software is the ability to copy an entire script in and just copy and paste text wherever you need it. So let me show you how well this works. The script portion under the storyboard tab over here is where you're going to put your text. So I can go and find a piece of script that I'm going to be using. I can copy it. Control C. And go over back to my program and hit Control V and paste it. When I when I copy and paste this way, I just need to go through and for me this helps just to really quickly kind of break it down so I can see it just the way I see it on the script. So now, on with Reese screaming at his brother, all this stays in here no matter what panel I'm on. So I can go through and find, if, if his brother is yelling at him here, I just go to that panel, and now I paste what I copied a minute ago. And if I go back to the storyboard, see all that text I brought in stays there the entire time. Now, here's another really cool thing. This software can also set up your entire breakdowns for you from the script. Not to say you won't make edits, but you probably will. Here's a couple things you're going to want to do. First thing you're going to want to do is start with, under Edit, go to Preferences. If you're on a Mac, it's under the, the Mac pull-down. Go to General. The top one under General is Default Panel Length. This is how many seconds every new panel is going to be. The default is 5 when you first install the program. I usually set mine between one and two seconds. It's cl generally closer to the amount of time I'm going to have. So set that first. Now, to start a new program based on existing script, go File, New from Final Draft Script. I'm now going to find the script that I like. We'll do Luke and Reese. Go to Open. Now it's going to ask me some questions. So any one of these elements that you will find in a script, there are some actions and destinations that we need to do for each. For every new action, I will, might want a new scene or I don't want to do anything at all. Well, I'm going to want a new scene. For under character, I'm also going to do a new scene. Every time a character talks, I want to new, put, have a new scene. So for action, the destination, I want any action notes to go into the action field. Character name, I want to go into the dialogue. The dialogue, I also want to go into dialogue. And parenthetical, that's in the in parentheses under the name on what it is that they're doing. I also want that to go into dialogue. Scene heading, I'm not going to use. I can. In this case, the default is action. That's fine. Transition, I'm not doing anything with that. Once those are all set, and I hit import, I determine, well, let's make this a high def project. We're going to call this Project Test, and title it Test, save my previous file, and now it's going to start building it. Notice my layers over here are set default as I had set them before. Once you set your default for layers once, it's good as long as you're using the program. The script, the entire script came in under the script tab or the storyboard tab. And under panel, notice it broke down every shot the way I told it to. So I can just now come in here and we slowly push in towards a very cartoony house. So I may come in rough in a cartoony house. Luke and Reese, the twin toddlers. So Luke and Reese, the twin toddlers. Now over here. Close-up of, of Reese. So this is a really quick way for the software to break everything down for you. I'm going to go back to my previous, since that has everything else that, was, that we're working on. So I'll reopen Luke and Reese. I can add in any action, slugging, notes, or dialogue at any time simply by 
typing in here. So get this under dialog. If I don't like it there, I can just cut it and I can put it into action notes. All right, easy enough. But there's another type of note. Sometimes you might want to have a sketch to explain something than having to write it out. In order to do that, I'm going to click on this far right icon over here. And I'm going to select Add Sketch. Choose a field name. We'll call it Sketch. You can call it Visual Note, whatever you want. It opens up another panel over here. But now, instead of just typing in, I can draw. So, you know, if there's a special way I want the mouth to look on something, maybe I'll sketch in the mouth here. Anything you want. And now when you export this out as a PDF, not only will all of your text and dialogue show up, but so will the sketch caption.